No, Bill, I don't think I ever will get married. Do you mind breaking that down a little for me? Why? I guess I'm just curious, that's all. <laughs> the police mind at work? Uh, well, the police mind is off duty until I meet a leader at the airport. No, oh, no. The policeman may be off duty, but never the police mind. You know, I still don't get it. You tell me now, what better ambition than to find a happy marriage, have children and a home? Propaganda, not for me. For marriage, I read life sentence. For home life, I read TV nights, beer in the fridge, second mortgage. Uh-uh, not for me. For me, life has to be something more than that. Fishing trawler going out to sea. Saying farewell. A ship, a man, a woman. All farewells. But it's... It's on its way. Yeah, and so are you, I guess. Welcome to the writer's life, the place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, taste of my particular writer's life and where you get the truth about the writer's life. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like button. Really pound it. Pound it so your grandmother can feel it. Um, and uh, hit that bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on one exciting video and how exciting these are. My intro is getting longer and longer and longer. i got to cut it down. Um, so what'd you think of that little clip that I pulled from, uh, a movie called, uh, Crimes of Passion, I think made around 56, 57, something like that. Uh, it's with, uh, Barbara, St Barbara Stanwyck. I was never crazy about Barbara Stanwyck, but she was great in noir films. She was absolutely terrific in them, and, uh, she's awesome in, awesome in Double Indemnity. Um, she's just got this, like, coldness about her. She was in the Big Valley, I think, right? And can you guess who the other guy is in that scene? Let me give you a hint. The Godfather. Um, all right, so I'm just going to tell you. His name is Sterling Hayden. He's a big six-foot-five guy, football player type. Um, he um, actually read a book he wrote back in the early 70s because he was sort of an adventurer, sailor guy, and you know, meaning he sailed boats around the world. Um, but he was a card-carrying communist back in the day. Like, he was a... And he was spoke... Oh, he openly spoke about it, and uh, which... Um, which actually surprises me that he got work after, you know, all that stuff. I mean, na now, now you can't get work if you're not a communist, <laughs> you know, like, I hope I said that right, it's a double negative, yeah, now you have to be like a communist to get, to get work in, in Hollywood and to be published in New York, you know, you gotta be like a social justice warrior, quote, you know, and woke and all that, and communist and all that stuff, but uh, anyway, I jest because I am none of those things, I am nothing, I am just a, an independent um, thinker vote my conscious, do my own thing. Rugged individualist, let's call it. But um, the gist of that that clip that I that I showed um, is about a journalist and she's just like I never marriage is not for me. I don't want to be the you know, married to the house, T V at night, go to sleep, get up, do it again, waste your life, right? Kind of thing. You know, I've been married twice. It didn't work out both times. I've had other, you know, fairly long relationships. Nothing that's ever lasted more than a few years. Um, again, because I'm independent, I do my own thing. And uh, um, it doesn't really bode well for, like, a long marriage type thing. <laughs> you know? Um, I'm ju I think it's, this is one of the reasons why I became a writer. It's because it allows me to work anywhere I want, when I want how I want, and, like, if I want to just say, you know what, I'm not going to work for the next week, I'm just going to, I'm going to go down to, 
Tulum, Mexico, which I'm not going to do because I've been to Tulum and it bores the crap out of me. Um, I'm not a beach guy, um, unless, you know, unless I got like a fishing boat lined up down there for a couple of days, I'll do that. Um, uh, you know, but you get the point. Um, so it just wasn't for me. I want to be able to do, I want to be able to go where I want to go and just have that, you know, I just, I want to be able to like get in the Jeep and just go and do my thing. Stop for a beer if I want, um, not be like, uh, um, honey, when are you coming home? I don't want that, you know, and especially now at my advanced age, you know, I just don't want that kind of thing. So like when Barbara Stanwyck says like, you know, fishing trawler going out to sea or whatever she says, you know, like I totally get that. Like when I hear a plane or I hear a train or whatever, I'm like, I wonder where they're going. I always think that I'm like, I wonder where they're, those people are headed, you know? Is it somewhere adventurous? Is it, uh, are they on a business trip or, you know, where are they going and for what reason? So I just, you know, just the way I am. Anyway, it's a beautiful Saturday. It's freezing. Uh, I somehow jogged in, uh, like four degree below zero weather this morning. <laughs> I'm nuts. Um, and now I'm writing an article and, uh, and then, you know what? Saturday, I think I'll have a beer. Go to my favorite watering hole, grab some food, uh, and maybe I'll try to catch the first episode of Ozark. Has anybody seen it yet? I hear it's fantastic. Um, can I get that on Netflix? I'll soon see. All right. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and uh, I'll come at you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.